Well, good morning. It's kind of a cloudy morning as you look outside on the Syntex Roof Systems camera at the Clean Regional Airport. Those clouds starting to part a bit, and that will continue here as we go through the morning. 73 now in Waco, 72 in Temple, 75 in Colleen, 77 currently in Bryan College Station. The live radar network not picking up any showers and thunderstorms this morning, but I do think as we head into the afternoon, we may see a few of those showers try to build, especially as we get into the late afternoon and especially east of I-35. Lower 70s for the morning drive will be in the mid 80s for lunch rush, low to mid 90s this afternoon. Again, some showers hours that may break out in the afternoon could last into dinner time. And that does mean, yeah, you may be dodging a couple of them as you're heading to those Friday night football games. Take an umbrella, take a uh, towel in case it rains before you get there so you can dry off the bleachers. You likely won't need the umbrella because a lot of this activity will be falling apart as we head towards evening, but better safe than sorry. Here we go into the afternoon again. You can see that isolated shower activity mainly east of I-35. Again, this is just what one model is showing, but the majority of them keeping the majority of that rain off to the east. We get into tomorrow. Very similar. Looks like a couple of isolated to scattered showers will be possible. It means if you're heading to the Baylor or the A&M game, take the umbrella, take the poncho. You may end up dealing with some of that, especially as we get into the late afternoon. If you're doing the tailgating, I think the games are going to be fine because as we get into the evening again, that rain activity should be lightening up a bit. We get into Sunday, very similar. Isolated showers and thunderstorms remain possible here for the next few days. And again, if you get under one of these showers or thunderstorms, there's a chance you see an inch or two of rainfall. Most of us, though, uh, missing out on that. Now, if you're heading to West Fest tonight, you got the preview party going on. Pickets in the rooftops playing. A few thunderstorms possible at 6 o'clock. Those rain chances taper off as we get through the evening. It's going to be a pretty pleasant night. Temperatures in the 80s and the 70s. You need to stay hydrated. It is going to be one of those nights where the humidity is higher, and uh, especially with it being out there in that pavilion, you're going to be sweating quite a bit. Future Track does show you the showers, the thunderstorms associated with this broad tropical low that's spinning out over the northern Gulf of Mexico. Again, that's slinging moisture our way, keeping the rain chances around, but because it's stuck to the east, we don't get those really good rain chances like they will down around southeast Texas. Now, as we head into next week, a cold front will get close to us. It'll stall out somewhere near us, and that's when we'll see the potential for showers and thunderstorms increase with multiple days of showers and thunderstorms possible. Won't rain all day, every day, and it won't rain everywhere every day, but the potential is there for some of us to pick up some multi-inch rainfall next week. Here's your 10-day forecast. 93 for today. I'll give it a 30% chance of rain, but know the majority of people will miss out. Same on Saturday, 93 with a 30% chance of rain, and yes, a 30% chance of rain Sunday as well. Then those rain chances start going up. I think Tuesday and Wednesday will be our best chance of rain. Temperatures hanging around the upper 80s and lower 90s going into next week, and in the Brazos Valley, more of the same. The rain chances staying around the few chances coming up here for the next few days. Better rain chances by the middle of next week.